Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. The general stock market has been doing pretty good, considering that the S&P 500 recently closed at another record high, which is great news for investors. However, the investors who have invested into GameStop were not so lucky. The reason behind this is because GameStop plunged after reporting a drop in their sales over the last quarter, and they are also laying off some staff. And this caused GameStop's share price to drop by 15.03%, down to just $13.17 per share, which was pretty catastrophic for investors. But it's not all bad news, because we do have a positive news update in regards to Robinhood, ticker symbol H-O-O-D. If you didn't know, Robinhood operates an online online brokerage firm where you can buy and sell both stocks and cryptocurrencies. And the reason why Robinhood is in the news is because they recently launched their new gold card. This gold card is a way to attract new customers to their overall online brokerage firm as they try to increase the amount of products and services which they can offer people in regards to financial services. Originally, Robinhood found their foothold in the stock community to where they would offer people commission-free stock trading, which was a very good move. But now they're introducing this gold card, where there will be no annual fee for this credit card, and it's only going to be available to Robinhood users who subscribe to their gold program, which will cost someone $5 a month or $50 a year. Normally, credit cards will offer you a 3% cash back on certain categories, but this card literally offers you 3% cash back on all purchases. But the news gets even better considering that this card will also give you 5% cash back on travel that is booked through Robinhood's portal. This 3-5% cash back can allow customers to invest that cash into their Robinhood brokerage accounts to invest into stocks or cryptocurrencies. Robinhood is the king of marketing, so this is why Robinhood will also be giving away a solid 10 karat gold version of this new credit card to the first 5,000 customers who get 10 and friends to sign up for a gold membership on Robinhood's platform. However, I do think that there is one problem here, and even though the company says that there is no annual fee for the credit card, that is technically true, but to get this credit card, you have to be a part of the gold program, which will cost you $50 per year. We also know in the past that Robinhood has been very successful in regards to marketing, considering that they recently introduced their retirement savings, and if you brought over your IRA from another brokerage, they would match you 3%. This ended up causing around 500,000 accounts to be opened to where deposits surpassed $3 billion, so clearly Robinhood knows what they're doing. At the end of the day, this should all translate to increase their overall share price, and their ticker symbol is H-O-O-D, so I would recommend that you look further into this company. Next up, we have Amazon, ticker symbol A-M-Z-N, which is most notably known for their e-commerce platform. However, in my opinion, Amazon is one of the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now, and here's why. As of yesterday, Amazon made another huge investment into Anthropic by investing another $2.75 billion into this company on top of the $1.25 billion that they already invested. If you didn't know, Anthropic is the company which created Claude, which is a direct competitor to ChatGPT. We also know that Anthropic also has a lot of backing from other major companies, which would include the likes of Google as well as Salesforce. Over the last year, Anthropic has raked in over $10 billion worth of investments from major companies and institutions to compete directly with ChatGPT and potentially surpass them, and in many ways Claude already has. So if you want to earn a slice of this artificial intelligence investment, feel free to look into Amazon and Google for prospective investments so you can have a derivative stake in Anthropic. But always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Coinbase, ticker symbol C-O-I-N, ticker name Coin. And if you didn't know, Coinbase is a very successful cryptocurrency platform. Recently, this cryptocurrency exchange got bad news because a federal judge ruled that the SEC's lawsuit, which accuses Coinbase of selling unregistered securities, will officially go to trial. Originally, Coinbase wanted this lawsuit to be tossed and or rejected, but it doesn't seem that that is actually coming through, which means that the SEC is suing Coinbase. So I'm going to keep you updated on this story, but overall, Coinbase seems pretty fundamentally solid. In the meantime, this should lower Coinbase's share price. However, for investors, 
who see the long-term potential in cryptocurrencies and cryptocurrency exchanges, this may be a good buying opportunity, but always make sure to do your own due diligence before you make an investment decision. Next up, we have a follow-up story on a Carnival Cruise, which is clearly a cruise stock. And a few videos ago, I said to invest into cruise stocks because right now they are surging, so my prediction has officially came true. According to a recent report, Carnival and other cruise stocks have raised their annual profit forecasts, which is great news for Carnival Cruise investors. You should also know that Carnival said that their 2024 bookings are at record high levels right now, with customers' deposits hitting around $7 billion just in quarter one alone. So overall, this should reflect very positively in this company's share price. More good news is in regards to H&M stock, which recently surged by 14% after the fast fashion chain crushed their quarter one profit expectations. Since the company has been cutting costs, this boosted their overall earnings forecasts, and overall, this seems like a great news update for H&M stock. However, I personally do not own this company in my portfolio. Lastly, for stock news updates, before we get into the best stocks to buy right now, let's talk about Fisker. If you're not familiar with this company, Fisker is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which is really going through a hard time, considering that Fisker just slashed the prices of their electric vehicles by as much as 39%. This company has already halted production, and they could possibly possibly file for bankruptcy. On top of that, the company's share price trades for around or lower than $1 per share, and overall, I was never a fan of Fisker, even from the very beginning. I always thought that there were better electric vehicle companies out there on the market, and I still stand by that prediction. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about Fisker. Now let's talk about the best stocks to buy, starting off with the Palantir stock, even though this company recently got some bad news. Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies. Palantir Technologies has been skyrocketing over the last few years, but recently the company has experienced a major pullback because an analyst downgraded this company. Analyst Brian White rated Palantir stock as a sell rating, which is a decrease from his original neutral rating, and he gave this company a $20 price target over the next 12 months. If you didn't know, this company currently trades at $24.18 per share, which means that this price target is below the company's current share price, meaning that it has a further downside potential over the next year. But it's not all doom and gloom, considering that Palantir shares have already gained 43% this year, and that followed a 168% rise in their share price the year prior. I also want to put a unique spin on this, considering that a $20 price target would have been amazing a year ago for this company. Because a year ago, the company was trading between between $12 to $15 per share, so a $20 price target was actually good. Now, with that being said, you should be aware that this company is trading at a very high PE ratio and a very high PS ratio, to where their price to sales ratio is coming in at around 25.3 times. Historically, this is above their five year average of 22.9 times, so I would love to hear your thoughts about Palantir Technologies down below in the comments. Another follow up story on the best stocks to buy in a previous video, we talked about CyberArk, ticker symbol CYBR, which has recently exploded in their share price. However, there is still further upside left in this company, and here's why. This company currently trades at around $265 per share, but a BTIG analyst recently initiated coverage on this company, and he gave them a buy rating and a price target of $317, which implies a lot of future upside. According to the analyst, this company is continuously driving growth in their very high privileged account management market, and on top of that, the analyst believes that this company holds a strong leadership position in their respected segment. So overall, this is great news for CyberArk, ticker symbol CYBR, which matches perfectly up with our prior prediction in a previous video. So feel free to do more research on this company going forward. Next up, let's talk about the best artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now, because many people believe that SoundHound is one of the best. And although this company is extremely risky, yes, there could be future upside left in this company, but it's just too much risk for me personally. I would much rather invest into two other AI companies, which should not be a very big surprise, considering that my top pick is none other than NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. This company makes GPUs, which are heavily used in regards to artificial intelligence. NVIDIA so far has been the king of this AI wave that we are experiencing right now, and they are the undisputed leader in their respected space because they have an estimated 95% market share, so they absolutely dominate the market. We already see companies building out data centers, which are capable of AI processing, and according to NVIDIA's CEO, 
He suggests that the spending that's necessary to bring data centers up to par will double to $2 trillion over the next several years. This gives Nvidia a great growth trajectory, however the company is not trading for very cheap considering that they are trading at 38 times their forward earnings. But even despite that, this company is still the king of the market right now in regards to artificial intelligence. However, next I would also recommend looking further into Super Microcomputer. In my opinion, I believe this company has loads more upside to achieve even though the company's share price has already skyrocketed. Super Microcomputer, also known as Super Micro, has a ticker symbol named SMCI. And what's really great about this company is that they partner with other companies such as NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, also known as AMD, as well as Intel among many others, to ensure that its servers are optimized to work with their latest and most robust processors. As of right now, Super Micro has a very small market share, which is anticipated to grow considering that they only have around 7% market share currently. But day by day, they are stealing away market share from other major companies such as Dell Technologies and Hewitt Packard Enterprise. This has caused many investors to flood into Super Micro stock, causing it to surge by around 842% over the last year. But in my opinion, the news gets even better, because this company is still cheap despite the company surging so drastically, because they are only trading at 3 times next year's sales, so their forward P.E. ratio is extremely digestible, making this a phenomenal investment decision. And if you didn't know, I personally hold NVIDIA and a super microcomputer in my personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about the movie theater chain named AMC. As of late, shares of AMC Entertainment sharply dropped after the company said it would sell $250 million worth of stock through an at-the-market offering. To justify this, the company said that the offering was being made to boost its liquidity following a quote lower first quarter box office. Yet investors just did not like this and they ended up selling out of this company which is why AMC stock dropped by 15% down to just $3.70 per share. And over the past year this company has actually dropped by 92% in their share price. At one time I did trade this company and I made some profits but overall this company was just too risky and the people who are invested and are still invested in this company are really not investing they are gambling. So again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision, and I personally do not hold AMC in my personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about Nikola, which is a hydrogen EV company, ticker symbol NKLA, which recently soared in their share price. This company has had a few scandals in the past, but recently it seems that investors are overlooking these past scandals because the company recently jumped by 15% in their respected share price. This recent momentum pushed the company's share price over $1, and this means that the company is safe for now because normally exchanges have a rule to where if your stock is less than $1, you could risk being delisted from that particular exchange. But you might be thinking to yourself, why has this company randomly surged by 15%? Well, I'll tell you. According to the article. Yesterday, Nikola announced plans for a new hydrogen fueling station from its HYLA energy brand to be built in Western Canada. The new station will be the province of Alberta's first commercial hydrogen fueling station and the first in what Nikola and its partners plan to be a fueling network to support the use of hydrogen fueled heavy trucks. So yes, this is a pretty positive development and if you know me, I absolutely love the idea of hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. I have been pushing for this idea of hydrogen electric vehicles for quite a while now. However, you should know that I personally do not hold Nikola shares in my portfolio because I believe there are other better hydrogen fuel cell companies. But let's talk more about Nikola. Despite this very good news over in Western Canada, we also have to remember that the company also implemented their first HYLA refueling station in Southern California as well. This facility began operating last month with its ability to fill up 40 Nikola hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks daily. So again, this is pretty good news for the company. In my personal opinion, I think investors should not invest into this company at this time until Nikola shows us their legitimacy. Nikola has had multiple scandals in the past and I would really like Nikola to prove themselves before earning investors money. So again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about DJT stock, also known as Trump Media and Technology Group stock, which has been rising very aggressively recently. As of this report, this company's share price literally jumped up to $66.80 per share, which is a 
huge increase from their starting price. Just recently, the company gapped up by 14% in their share price, which means that the company is currently valued at around $8 billion, making Donald Trump's approximate 60% stake worth around $5.2 billion. However, there is bad news here. Trump Media reported revenues of just $3.4 million, and they brought in a loss of $49 million during the first nine months of 2023. This means that the company's price-to-sales ratio and their earnings ratio are absolutely laughable right now. So that's why I personally believe this company's share price will crash and burn soon. So please be very careful in regards to this company. Now on the positive side, the company did recently receive $300 million worth of a cash infusion as part of their SPAC deal, which is good news. But overall, we don't see any Wall Street analysts right now giving ratings or price targets on this company. For some context, Trump Media and Technology Group owns a platform that is a direct competitor with X, formerly known as Twitter, and that would be called Truth Social. So if Donald Trump cannot get more people to use the X competitor named Truth Social, or at minimum increase the amount of revenues that Trump Media and Technology Group is bringing in, this is not going to be a good investment in the short term, unless you want to trade off the volatility in the stock. So until their accounting ratios align with the company's overall valuation, this company is pretty dangerous right now, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this company in the comments. Next up, let's talk about MicroStrategy stock, which recently dropped by 11%. Traditionally, people would invest into MicroStrategy not because the company was a good technology company, but rather because they owned so much Bitcoin. And the reason why their share price has dropped by around 11% recently is because Carisdale Capital, which is an investment firm based over in New York City, published a report that has blasted MicroStrategy. This investment firm is shorting MicroStrategy, which means they are betting on this company's share price going even lower. And here's why they're doing this. They essentially said two things. First, they said that MicroStrategy is not a good technology company, and they said the company doesn't have enough Bitcoin to even make them a good investment right now at their current share price. And here's what the report said. The investment firm wrote, the Bitcoin price currently implied by MicroStrategy's stock is now over $177,000, two and a half times the spot price of Bitcoin. The days when MicroStrategy shares represented a rare, unique way to gain access to Bitcoin are long over. Essentially, this investment firm is saying that MicroStrategy is not a good company to invest into right now because to make this company even palatable, Bitcoin's price should literally jump by two and a half times before investors should even think about investing into MicroStrategy because of their Bitcoin stake. Throughout the remainder of the report, I actually have to say that this company gave very valid criticism about MicroStrategy. Normally, when short reports are released, the company just really wants to tarnish the name of a company, cause the share price to fall, they make a lot of money by shorting the company during that time, and then they cash out. However, this is slightly different. It seems that the criticisms that this investment firm is giving about MicroStrategy are actually valid, and that's why I personally don't hold a MicroStrategy in my portfolio. At a time where people can directly invest into Bitcoin through a cryptocurrency exchange, or even invest into Bitcoin through a spot Bitcoin ETF, MicroStrategy's overall ideal and strategy of being a Bitcoin staker is outdated right now. You would be better off investing into cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase or even mining companies such as Mara and Riot. And of course, I'm talking about Marathon Digital, ticker name Mara, and Riot Platforms, ticker name Riot. So I would love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these companies in this particular story. Lastly, let's talk about the upcoming week starting off with a Monday, April 1st. According to the article, we are going to receive updated delivery numbers from Tesla, NEO, Xpeng, Rivian Automotive, Lee Auto, Lucid Group, and a few others, including quarterly reports from General Motors and Ford Motors, as well as Toyota. And for context, these are all automotive companies. More good news is that Fortinet will hold a four-day Accelerate 2024 event, and this could cause them to have a breakout session, and they will also talk about their AI applications, which should be pretty good news. Now let's move on to Tuesday, April 2nd. On this day, Walmart will present at the JP Morgan Retail Conference, and we can also look forward to a webinar held by Intel Corporation, ticker symbol INTC. For Wednesday, April 3rd, we see that Walt Disney will hold an annual shareholder meeting, and then on April 4th, we can see that Home Depot will present at the JP Morgan Retail Roundup Conference, and then lastly on Friday, April 5th, we have a multitude of healthcare companies, which will give very good results by 
attending two different conferences. The first conference will be the American College of Cardiology Scientific Session and Expo in Atlanta, and then we also have the European Heart Rhythm Association Annual Meeting in Berlin. Some notable players will be Abbott Laboratories, Edwards Life Sciences Corporation, Novo Nordisk, Johnson & Johnson, as well as Medtronic. And if you didn't know for context, I literally own all of these companies, so I would love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these news updates down below in the comments. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.